everybody. Welcome, this is Shane. Shane here from Guitar Work. Welcome back. This is a, a really fun song. A lot of requests for this one and Eagles in general. This is Peaceful Easy Feeling by the Eagles and actually written by, I had to look this up, this is um, written by Jack Tempchin. Um, boy, and he's he wrote a lot of really, really great stuff. I did not know that, so um, uh, check him out. Really, really a beautiful song and uh, made famous, of course, by the Eagles. And um, we'll take you through. It's, I think you'll find the chords fairly manageable. We'll do a full play along, um, getting a lot of good feedback about the play along system so I'll take you through the chords quickly just a couple little strumming ideas then we'll do a reduced thing maybe half the song at a reduced tempo to give you a fighting chance then we'll launch into the full speed okay full speed ahead um, so go grab these sheets these are at patreon.com slash guitar at work patreon.com slash guitar at work ton of other songs up there as well you can scoop them all up and uh, we'll do a play along with those it really does help you to refer to, uh, to know what I'm referring to on the sheet so go grab those and we're in good shape I want to thank you for coming back and all your good feedback and all that good stuff it really really helps here uh, I have a good time doing this and I appreciate all the positive feedback I want to thank especially John and Kath John and Kath uh, met yesterday thank you so much I'm loving the guitar so far just absolutely beautiful have a safe trip back and uh, it was great to see you for sure and um, this is again Peace Leaves Union by the Eagles it's coming in at 143 beats per minute and I'll put that into the old beat buddy here in case you're wondering about my drums I get a lot of questions about that it's a beat buddy pedal and I really love it I've had it for a few years now I really really love it and uh, it's more fun than playing to a metronome for sure so I'll be taking I'm going to look at the detail sheet here detail sheet uh, and going to head to uh, patreon.com slash guitar at work go grab this guy and uh, you've seen here's a chord list first of all here's an E We'll get to the play along here in just a sec. E, no problem there. E sus4, which you're going to find in the intro and in between, uh, sometimes in between verses and choruses and such, there's an E. I'm going to add the pinky. Add the pinky to that E right there. There we go. And we're back to an E. Typically, that's going to take your pinky off. You're heading back to an E. And there's an A chord. Multiple ways to finger that. Whatever's most comfortable for you. I go two, three, and four. I find I can fit them in there a little better. And there's going to be a B7. You're going to need that. There's your B7. There you go. And I'll head back to E here. There's a the last item, F sharp minor 7 slash E. It's always going to come from an E. So I'm going to go from E to F sharp minor 7 slash E. There we go. If you play that just on its own, it might sound a little unresolved, a little odd, but that's in there for sure. That's in the chorusy bit. So that was an E going to the F sharp minor 7 slash E that you're seeing. It's a rotten name, I understand. But all I'm doing is stretching out a little bit. If you can't get that, um, if your thumb's up high for a stretch like that, you're probably doomed. Watch out for that. Try to get that thumb nice and low. Here's my E. Gonna keep the thumb nice and low and stretch. There we go. If you just can't get that kind of a stretch going, that's okay. You could refinger. Go ring and pinky. Ring and pinky. I've written that in as an alternate fingering, a 3, 4, and 1. Uh, and then you could head back to your E. Yeah. So those are our chord shapes we're going to need. If any of those are new to you, you may want to stop tape right there and just get used to those. And as for strumming pattern, um, you're seeing that in the second item of your detail sheet here. Second item of your detail sheet. I'm going to go um, on it. You're going to sit on the E in the intro. You're going to see this. I'm going to go down, 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 up, down, up. It's a two bar phrase. That's the first bar. Then I'm going to add a pinky to, e, to get an E sus4 and go down, up, down, up, up, down, up. That's going to repeat. That's all we need for that intro. Let me do that a few times. Here's an E coming. Three and a four going. Down, 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 up, down. E sus. Now repeat that coming. E, down, 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 up. E sus coming. Down, up, down, up, up. E here. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up. There we go. That's your intro, and it can happen a few times, sometimes in between verses as well. There's a, you know, a couple of guitars at least in there, and they crisscross, so it's hard to, to nail what, what exactly what each guitar is doing. Uh, they're so beautifully complementing each other, they sound like one giant guitar. But that's a great way to, uh, when there's space. Typically there's no vocal in that, it's your intro and maybe in between sections as well. Um, then there's, um, now when it gets to the, 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 the vocal part, I'm just going to resolve, I'm going to just go back to this guy, I'm going to sit on an E, down, down, up. Up, down, up, that classic old pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. One full pattern every time you see a chord name. So watch out, sometimes there's two of the same chord, you'd have to do that twice, right? So that's our sort of go-to. I think everybody knows that pattern. It's our kind of a go-to pattern for sure. Um, there's, um, after we do our play along, after we do the play along, oh, I'll take you through this articulate strum, which is this guy. Just a little more 
fancy in there. It's something if you're playing alone that might help to fill the space a little bit and also take the heat off your singer. Because when we're all doing this, it gets pretty loud, right? And if you don't duck, you gotta duck, let that singer have some room and because they think it's all about them, right? But uh, this other guy, let's take you through that to give you a, a neat little pattern that's a bit more articulate. I call it the articulate strum as you're seeing there. Let's do that as soon as we do through all the, go through all the play alongs. Um, so here we go. If we're looking at you, you've got your sheets handy. I've got mine handy. And here we go. I'm looking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the speed down. It comes in at 143 beats per minute. I'm gonna bring that down just for practice sake to 110. Just do 110 and I'll bring it back when we do a full play along. 110 just to get the hang of it. I'm gonna do a ver an intro, verse, and chorus at reduced speed of 110, okay? So you'd wanna be able to do this first, then we're gonna launch right into the full speed thing, and away we go. So here comes my drummer, and again, the fabulous Beat Buddy. We're gonna do the E, the E sus four, four times. Here it is, one, two, three, E. Sus, here is an E. Sus, three, Four here. A normal strum, and here we go. E verse. A the way. E sparkling earrings. A lay. E A the skin. B seven twice. So brown. There's an E coming. A on a sleep with you. There's an E coming. The desert. A tonight. A with a billion stars, B7 twice all around. Chorus A, We've got a peaceful. Here's an E, easy feeling. Here's an A coming. I know you won't. B7, let me down. E coming, I'm all home. F sharp minor 7 over E. A, ready, standing, B7, E on the ground, sus, E, there we go. Now, okay, so there's nothing else that happens if you should be able to do that before we launch into the full speed play along, which is coming in again at 143, let me crank that up, 143 beats a minute on the fabulous beat buddy here. 143. Um, so again, you'd want to be able to do that before you launch into the into the into the faster version that we're going to do. And I'll encourage you to try, uh, even if things fall apart, okay, they completely fall apart, try to look at your chart and go, okay, I'll meet you at the chorus. Uh, so you're listening. And, um, recovery skills are vital for jam sessions or if you're playing with other people, absolutely vital. You gotta be able to, to drop the ball here and there because it's gonna happen. So stuff is gonna be new to you and uh, you just gotta keep your wits about you and leap back in when you can. So here it is now, it's gonna be at 143 beats a minute. That's full speed ahead. I'll have to scroll at some point, but I'm gonna shout them out and do your best. Here it comes, here is an E coming, intro, one, two, three, yeah. Here's an E, sus, here's an E, sus, E, a verse, E, quiet, A, I like the way, sparkling, E, A, lay, E, against your skin, B7 twice, so brown, E, a, I want to sleep with you. Here's an E in the desert. A tonight. E, billion A stars. B7 all around. Here's an A chorus. Peaceful. E, easy feeling. A coming. No, you won't. Here's a B7. Let me down. E, I'm all ready. Up. A ready standing, B7, there we go, E on the ground, sus. Second verse, quiet now. A I found out, E a long time, A to go, E, what a B7 twice, E, A she can to E, A an E, you don't already, A, no, B7, how to go, chorus, A, I've got a feet, twice, E, E is a feeling, I 
That's it. A coming. B7 twice. E coming. Parallel. F sharp minor 7 over E. A may stand. B7. E all the way. There we go. Sus. Instrumental coming. Now nice and quiet. Duck. E. Quiet. A. E. That's a solo. A. E. A. B7. Second line, A, E, A, E, A, B7 twice, A, yeah. twice, there's an E, A, B7, E, last line of that page, up, A, Stops E. E. A. B7. E. Whisper in E. In my A. Here's an E. A. C. B7. Chorus A. I've got a P. A coming. B7, double. E, I'm on. Up we go. A, ready, stand. B7. Repeat that. E, I'm on. F, up. A, ready, stand. B7. E, S, I'm on. F sharp, there you go. A, ready, stand. B7. E, on the ground. Up we go again. A, B7, there we go, E, one more, A, B7, last one, E, up we go, A, B7, stop on a E, oh, there we go, fast and furious, I realized, and the idea again is without a whole lot of rehearsal, you're able to, to, you're staring at the chart, you're, 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 you're under duress, you're having to pull all that together, right? And uh, I'm trying to show the chords a little bit before, just to give you a fighting chance, but you do probably want to be able to look at a chart and not have to look at your fingers at, to make those chord changes because it's very difficult to get black and find the chord, find where you are on the sheet if you're having to take a look at how do you get to that, that F sharp minor seven or whatever it might be, right? Then you look back and you're lost. So all uh, these things, you, know, you find these things out in real time playing. So I hope that helped you very much. Um, and I would highly recommend repeat, repeat, repeat that, right? Get to know the song that way in real time. Good recovery skills for sure. And that's what they are, recovery skills, right? Because uh, bad things happen to good people at fast tempos. So the last thing, uh, articulate strum, the art what I call the articulate strum is um, if you're playing alone, especially uh, when something's up tempo like that, it's coming in again, what, 146 beats a minute? 143 beats a minute? So that's, you know, that's clip clipping along. It's nice to, uh, it sort of a, comes from bluegrass. If I do this. See that written out there and it sounds it's a little easier on the singer because the singer they're always doing that you got to leave them a little bit of headroom right now they get angry and they think it's all about them so if you go i'm going to go bass note that guy has written that dot and now a bass note with an upstroke on the d string and then i'm going to play the top three strings and then up we go top three strings again so that would be down up and then down and then up, like that. That's the first bar of your articulate strum on that details page. So again, I'm gonna go E, twice. Here it is there, so if I do this. Softens things up a bit, eh? Here we go. Um, you get that under your belt. You still get that kind of barn burning speed effect, but it's not, uh, can be a little bit harsh, you know? On the A, we're just having to obey the fact that A has one X. We're trying to lay off that low string there. So I'm gonna go A, A string, then a D string, and then strum the top three. Again. That's your A. And the last guy is B7 here. 
which is really the same as the A in, in terms of the right hand. Yeah, so. you to keep active without killing the vocalist right meaning um, you know drowning him he or her or he or she um, out so hey that is peaceful easy feel it I appreciate all your comments and suggestions really I'm really having a great time with this uh, it has surpassed um, anything I ever thought so really really great it's always good to hear from you as well and I hope you'll play along with this and add it to your play along regimen for sure it's so important to play with other people and um, I really have a good time doing it so thanks again very much and we'll see you again very soon Cheers to Ow!